I'll tell you what. Yeah, whenever you're ready. So, you're a 15 year old Dominican kid from Washington Heights, and your family is broke, and your only way to make it out is playing baseball. You go to George Washington High School, and this is a well known school for baseball, and this is the only way you can make it out. You're offered HGH, and you're told you get bigger muscles, um, growth spurt, and better athletic performance. You're told you'd be a sure pick, a sure thing. I bet you one thing these kids weren't told was the dangers of losing HGH. My name is Matthew Mata. I'm an athlete, I'm a sports fan, and I have EMT training. Um, so this is why I was interested in it, because I wanted to know like why these people will harm their body just to get better, per se. Uh, today I'd like to speak a little bit on uh, HGH, refresh your memory on HGH and what it is. Um, the dangers, why it's a problem, and then the solution I think. Um, so you should do testing and we'll talk about having classes and raising awareness on HGH. So first a little bit about HGH. Uh, it's a hormone produced in your pituitary gland and it helps you grow from a child to adult. It's a anabolic, which makes you grow. Uh, this was all um, described by Dr. Sony. Um, too much HGH produced naturally creates acromegaly, also known as giantism. And I got that, that info from Medline Plus. Um, so now that I've refreshed your memory a little bit on what HGH is, uh, I like to talk about what's the problem with them and the physical dangers. Um, physical harm of using HGH is diabetes, uh, muscle, joint, and bone pain, cardiovascular diseases, and accelerated osteoarthritis. And it also produces excessive levels of IGF-1, which is insulin growth factor, which is a protein, and it produces um, growth of your bones. And I got all that from the from the World Anti-Doping Agency. It was a question and answer. So on to the most important part of the arms is death. Um, overgrown organs is a big problem with using HGH because it's an anabolic and it makes everything grow. So that could lead to death easily. And um, also, um, people with acromegaly, as said by World Anti-Doping Agency, have shorter life expectancies than everybody else because they're so tall and their, all their organs grow so much and their body weight is too strong for their bones. So I refresh your memory on HGH and I told you the dangers of using HGH and what the problem is. So now let's talk about the solution and what to do about it. Raise awareness to the issue. We can start by schools and athletic programs giving classes to these athletes and raising their awareness on steroid use in general as well as HGH use. Um, they should give out pamphlets, like make pamphlets from the World Anti-Doping Agency. They have pamphlets and you can give those out too to raise awareness. It says a lot about like the dangers of using the steroids and how it actually affects your body in the harmful ways, not just all the good. Um, and like create classes inside your schools for like steroid awareness as like a health program or something. And um, a lot of these ideas and stuff came from Livestrong.com and an article I read called Help Teenagers Say No to Steroids. And the Help Teenagers Say No to Steroids article, they had a lot of numbers for like ways you could reach people and guidance counselors that talk about this and they could come out to your school or your athletic program to talk about it. Um, active testing. There's a professor Strasberg out of Germany. He's the one that created this test for HGH, which I didn't even know there was one. And um, it's basically a direct testing process, and it just te it tests the proteins, which is what holds the HGH in your body. And um, your sex, ethnicity, weight, height, the sport you play, your athletic skill has nothing to do with it. The only variable in the test is your age compared to how to the levels of HGH. And I forgot. So.
So as I have here, this is on the levels by age that you should have, HGH levels by your age. So this is what they use to base on the testing. And this is just um, a little bit about acromegaly, which I talked about. And this is commonly seen when they're selling HGH and other steroid products. Like, they show this little scrawny kid and then this big muscular guy. Who wouldn't want to be that or have that? And they don't tell you anything about any side effects, anything. They just mention all the good. And these are famous examples of people who have used HGH. And Abraham Lincoln was suffered from acromegaly. Um, a quick statistic. In 2002, the National Institute of Drug Abuse of the National Institutes of Health funded a study called Monitoring, Monitoring the Future. It was conducted by University of Michigan and they found out out of the 45,000 students they, they um, ran research on, 86% responded. 3% of the of them were 8th graders, 3.5% was 10th graders, and 2.5% was 12th graders that had admitted to using any, um, anabolic steroids before. This came from how teenagers say no steroids. So, in conclusion, back to the 15 year old who's trying to get his parents out and his only hope is playing baseball. They're told that he could use HGH and he probably would be a sure pick. But what happens when HGH starts harming his body or he gets caught by one of these tests or something. And his dream and his family hopes are over. Thank you for your ears and listening.